Oh, it's good to be back, baby. Yeah. Who's ready for tea time? Oh, hey. Who the fuck is this? Yeah. My demon. Demon. Demon's are real. Yeah. Well, what's he? What's he drinking? Time, time, time for the tea. I don't know what to tell you, Dave. It's just it's my demon. <laughs> We're having a good time. It's not rum time. It's time for the tea time. 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 I'm getting turned as fuck at tea time. You know what I'm saying? Tea time, rum time for the demon boy. Tea time. Why would you do this? Our tea time. Can't have a, can't have an old, old rum drinking demon at tea. Man, fuck your tea, fuck your tea, fuck your tea, fuck your tea. Rum, baby. Let's start doing that, rat. <laughs> back we're we're back hey we hey welcome to an all-new episode of the play dead you remember me maybe i'm davy that's right if it's your first time here why 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 doing that rag go learn something easy this is a weird one okay but but if it is your first time hold up stop stop hold on a second let me tell you something let me let me ask you a favor Hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you get notified every time that we drop goodies. Because we're back and we're doing stuff. Hey. Also, this episode is brought to you by the Golden Road Guitar Course. If you want to know how I play guitar and how I jam fluently and fluidly, moving like water through your dream space. You want to know how to do that? Boom. The info is down below in the description. Also, we have a Patreon. We have merch. We have all the stuff. But we're going to get into it. Like I said earlier, we're doing doing that rag. We're doing the rag. We're doing it. We're going to do it. Okay, I promise. Here we are. I love you. It feels good and weird to be back. But here, we're doing it. We're, I've already said that. Okay, anyways, the song itself was written by old Jared Garcia Robert Hunter in 1969 for A-Oxum. I always say A-Oxum Oxua, but it's Amoxa. Right? Oxamoxa. That's it. It's a weird, it's a weird word. It's one of those, it's a palindrome, right? It's the same forwards as it is backwards. I always thought it was Aoxamoxa because that would be right, you know, but it's Oxamoxa, I guess. That's what the pronunciation said. Uh, they played it, what was it? Um, they played it 41 times only and only in 1969. They were really pushing all the tracks from this one. And I guess it fell off because it's weird. There's a key change in the middle of this song. Not only in the middle of the song, but in the middle of a chorus. We're going to get to it, but that's also why this song has so many motherfucking little segments. We're going to be doing all these little segments. So what you've got, you've got your intro, which is also your first chorus. Okay. Then you've got your verses, and that's but that's just the first and second verse. And then you've got the weird chorus right in the middle there where it does the key change. And then you've got verses three and four with a different kind of chorus, which is the second half of the weird one. We're, it's, it'll make sense-ish, maybe. But this song is straight up like a DMT trip. And I always thought it was, like, like the intro said, demon at T. Like that's, to me, that was always a subliminal DMT. DMT and this song is a paisley nightmare and I love it to death I've always loved this song it's it's one of those songs that just kind of sticks with you and uh I like that Houston always described it as like a rain dance and that's in that and I like that uh so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get into it okay are you ready are you ready we're back and i mean this one's gonna be a little weird because i'm getting the juices flowing again you know what i mean i'm getting blood down to the tip of my dick 
Yeah, you know what this show is. What did you think was going to happen? Okay, so anyways, here we go. Intro slash first chorus thing. All right, hey. Long time no see. Hey, this is what it looks like, all right? It's not the hardest thing in the world, but it's weird. Do you see how these chords, you've never seen these chords next to each other before? I mean, maybe the C and the E flat, but it's strange. And it sounds weird too, but it's not the hardest thing in the world. It's just a little tricky trying to like work your brain around how these are going to go. Okay, so listen to me do it and then we'll, we'll, we'll attempt it. All right? Mwah. So as you saw, it's not it's not crazy hard, but it's also not it's not super intuitive. We'll we'll go ahead and say that. So what you're gonna do? Hey, join me where my head is my nipple. Okay, so we're gonna start on a D major. I like to do this in like with the C shapes. Okay, so right. So you're gonna start on that D, and then I like to slide up to the F. That's a C shape. Hit that twice. So it'll be like D. F, F, and then C, right? That way, with that F, I can just drop it to that A shape C. That's what I like to do. And then that E flat is right there, right? You're just kind of like, you're, you're dropping a whole step and then laying on a C shape, so. Cool? And then the next part is just an A, a D, and a G. All right? And then you just do that again, but double time. Okay? So just do that weird set of chords faster. Not just faster, twice as fast. One more time. Okay, cool. And I know that on the album version, there's like this, there's, there's two lead lines basically going over it. The Bob and the Jerry part are two lead lines. And like, this is weird enough, guys. I'm going to give you this and then maybe we'll, we'll approach that later. Okay, but I want you to get the chords down because this song's weird. Okay, so you'll be able to fill it in as much as you want. You can hit the roots or like notes within each chord. It's not, it's, it's not important. It's not important. This is going to sound like the song, okay? I'm here to give you the building blocks. I'm not here to hold your hand. I'm here to hold your hand, okay? So that was the intro and also the first chorus and the first part of the third chorus, okay? Or second chorus. Yeah. Because the second chorus is the, yes. Wait. Yes. Right. All right, so now we're going to get into the first verses. The first verse one and two. Okay, here we go. Mwah. All right, boom, verse chords. It's something, but it's it's not that bad. It's again, it's it starts off like you're doing like a traditional kind of like folk tune, like a regular tune. It's like G, C. You know, you kind of do that back and forth kind of rock with the G and the C. This is probably a better look. Um, but then it changes abruptly and does the weird the weird chords. So that's what we're going to do now. So listen to me and then we will. It's weird. All right, guys, so we're going to start on a G. 
right? But it's got that really cool, like, lead-in line. Right? So I've, I've always loved that, but that's what that's going to be. So what it is is you're starting on the fifth fret of the E, and you're sliding up to the seventh, and then you're going to hit that fifth fret of the A, and then you're going to go right to the root of the G, which is the third fret of the E. Right? And then that that's your one, and that's what's going to start the lyrics. Sitting in Mango Valley chasing light beams. Okay, so that's the first part. And that's a G to a C to a G. So G, C, G, and then D, F, D, F, right? And then we're going to go to a C, ba, da, 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 and then A to D, ba, da, 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 back to G, ba, to C, back to G, then D, F, now C, and you stay on C. And then we have this cool little walk down, which is C, B, A, G, right? And you can do that here with the third fret of the A string, second fret of the A string, open A string, third fret of the E string, which is your G root. Or you can do it with some, some double stops up here, it's or chords, but what you're doing is you're doing C, B minor, A minor, G. Right, so you can even do that. You can do the double stops. And that's literally just doing these parts of the chords, right? Just using those two strings, uh, the D and the G. So you would do. Right, so that would be a G, that would be an A minor, that would be a B minor, and that would be a C. Cool? And you'll hear that in the backing track. That's what I'm doing in the backing track for the, the Bob part, you know. But I like to do it if you're doing the lead. I like to do that one because it's just nice and thick. You know what I'm saying? Thick water. I like thick water. <laughs> All right, so that, that brings us to the pre-chorus. And your pre-chorus looks like this, okay? This is your first pre-chorus, pre-chorus one and two. And it's that, that kind of what Houston says is the rain dance. And it starts on A minor. And for like the Jerry kind of lead part, you're going to do this. Right? And what you're doing there is you're doing this kind of like rock back and forth on the seventh and fifth fret of the D string, right? You're doing two on the seven and one on the five. Two, well, so one, two, five, so. Doing kind of almost like a stutter. And then you're going to go up to that fifth fret on the G string, so. Then you're just going to walk that back down. You're going to do five. Seven, five, so five on the G, seven on the D, five on the D, down to now you're going to do that same pattern, but on the A string. But you're just going to do it once, all right? So. Right, so you do that twice. I know that that didn't make sense with what I just said, but do it. So. so if you were going to try to sing over it, because like I, I try to do the hardest thing I can ever do, possible all the time, just making it the hardest thing on myself when I could, just play the rhythm and then do that and sing. But no, got to do the... Baby, baby, tell me what's the matter. Why, why, tell me what? Go, oh, why now? B minor, tell me why? To A minor, will you never come home? And then we're going to go to C. Tell me what's your reason? And then the walk down. Got a good one. And that's your, that same walk down, okay? 
And then the, then you would go into your chorus, but you already know your first chorus. So what we're going to do is we're going to jump ahead to the second chorus, right? That's the one with the key change. So you've got verse one and two. You've got the, um, the pre-choruses. All right, so the rhythm part on that again will be A minor. Baby, baby, E minor. Tell me what's the matter, A minor. Why, why, tell me what, E minor. Yo, why now, then B minor. Tell me why, A minor. Will you never come home? And then we're going to go to C. Tell me what's the reason. Walk down if you've got a good one. Cool. All right. So now what we're going to do, jump to chorus two, because that's where the key change is. And then the second half of it is what you would be doing for the third one. So we're just going to cover it at the same time. So choruses two and three. Here we go. All right. Okay. We're just, I mean, we're not breezing through it, but we're, we're going at a brisk pace, a brisky, breezy pace. You can't deny it. We're really getting through it. Okay, so now we're going to do this weird jumbled chorus two and three where there's a key change in the middle of a chorus, and I don't know why you would do that, and it's one of those stupid things with music that I don't fucking understand. It's like, how can you be so fucking intelligent and intuitive that you would know to do the key change in the middle? I mean, I guess you would just decide that, but even then, it's like my brain don't work like that. I've been writing music since I was 15 years old. I guess that's why I do this. I guess that's why I don't write the songs. I just teach the songs, right? Those who can't do teach, but I go out there and I do it and it doesn't really matter because it's all... <laughs> okay, so here, listen and we will. I'm sorry, this is what it looks like. It's weird, it's stupid. Now listen and we will. Hipsters, tripsters, real cool chicksters. Everyone is doing their brand. Hipsters, tripsters, real cool chicksters. Everyone's doing the rap. Okay, see, it is. It's, it's an odd duck. This song is an odd duck. That's an odd duck. You know? We do that same thing starting on that D. D to F, and then C to E flat. Then we're going to go C sharp, and then F sharp to B. And now we've done a key change, baby. Now we're in B. Right? We were in G-ish, and now we're in B-ish. So we're going to do it again, okay? So D, F, C, E flat, C sharp. F sharp to B. And then the second half of it, when you're doing it fast, now that we're in the key change, now this is, this second half is what the, the whole next one is, right? Because this is just what you're going to be doing, but double time, right? I know. I know. Uh, I know. 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 Okay, so that second half is F sharp, A, E to G. F sharp, A, E to G. And we're gonna hit a C sharp to F sharp to B. Okay, but that's gonna be the double time one, so it'll be. Okay. So for that's in chorus two, so you do so chorus two, the whole thing is gonna sound like this. Hipsters, tripsters, real cool chipsters. Everyone is doing that brand. Okay, now you've done the key change, and now you're gonna do the other, the other one, but double time. Okay, so then you're gonna do the second one, which is like 
the what the next one's gonna be, right? So it's those trips is real cool chicks, cause everyone's doing the right. Cool? So then your last chorus is gonna be the weight in the water one, right? And it just follows that pattern, the F A E G C sharp F sharp B, right? So it'd be weight in the water and you'll never get wet. If you you keep on doing that right. Do it again. Wait in the water, you never get wet if you keep on doing the rag. Okay? And that's that. That's it for the choruses, right? But now we're going to move on to the verses three and four because it's a key change, and now you're following the same pattern that you would be for the other ones, but it's just in a different key. Okay? So now we're going to get into that. <laughs> Here we are in the, you know, the the second batch of verses. It's going to be cool because the outro to this song is dope. And on the backing track, I left that a little bit, a little bit longer. So you could have a little jamski, little jamski juice, little jamski juice. I like that. Little jamski juice. Okay. So. Here it is. It's the same stuff, but key of B now, and then listen, and we'll go. You the lily off a juice to the sunset. No one is watching or standing in your shoes. Wash your lonely feet in the river in the morning. And everything promised is delivered to you. Don't declare. go so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start on a b now so needn't to e yield the lily back to b off of jewels to the now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do f sharp a sunset cool and now we're gonna go back to e one is watching and then uh c sharp stand in in your shoes to f sharp okay Blues. so let's go through it again B, eat it to E, gild the lily, back to B, off a of juice to the sunset, F sharp A, sunset, then we're going to go to C sharp, or E, no one is watching to C sharp, or standing in your shoes to F sharp, okay, then we're going to go back to B, wash your lonely to E, in the B, in the F sharp A. We're gonna go to E. Da, 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 da. And then now you're gonna, so it's just like that last one. So we've gotta do that walk down, but the walk down now is is gonna be, if you're doing the lead, it's gonna be the walk down to, it'll be the seventh fret on the A, to the sixth fret on the A, to the fourth, to the second. Okay? So that's the. Everything promised is delivered to you. Okay? Coolio? Coolio. Got it? Let's do it again. So it'll be E to B to E to B to F sharp to A. Cool? And then E. Da, 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 da. And then C sharp, F sharp. Lock that up, C sharp, F sharp, to B, to E, to B, to F sharp, A, E, E. Cool? All right, and now we're going to do that pre-chorus thing again, that kind of rain dance thing, but now we're starting it in C sharp minor, right? So it's that same, same stuff, You're doing the same stuff. You just moved it up from here to here, right? You moved from A minor to C sharp minor. So you're going to be 
you're going to be on that 11th fret of the D string to that 9th fret of the D string, and then you'll be using the 9th fret of the G string. Again, it's the same, same pattern, same shape, same stuff you're doing, but you're up here. Right, so at that point, what you're doing is you're doing a C sharp minor to a G sharp minor. Cool. That's that. That's that's the chorus. Don't neglect to pick up what you're sharing. All the winter birds are winging home now. Right. So that's a, a C sharp minor and G sharp minor, and then you're gonna go to a. Then you're gonna go to a D sharp minor. A to C sharp minor. Go and look around you. E. Nothing out there you haven't. Seen before now, seen before now. Oh, it's that same walk down. Seen before now. And then you would do your next chorus. Um, and then you would do that last that last verse. Okay, and then that's that's basically the song, but you have this badass outro, which is the is it all fall down, is it all go under? Okay, so this is what it looks like. It's just D sharp minor and G sharp minor. Okay, so listen to it and then uh, it, listen to the jam. But what, so, yeah, so it's, again, like, so it'll be like, uh, uh, that's at the, the Baby Louise, and then you'll do that walk to the, tell me the name of the game that you play. And then we're going to go to D sharp minor. Is it all fall down? Is it all go under? Is it all fall down? Is it all go under? And, and what that is, is that's a D sharp minor, the same thing we were doing to a G sharp minor. So you would just be hitting that 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 eleven to thirteen on the on the D string. Thirteen to eleven. You're hitting those frets, and then you'd be hitting eleven to nine on the A, right? Is it all go under? Is it all fall down? Is it all go under? Okay. And if you're doing the chords, you're gonna do. Okay, and then I've got you something to jam over. Okay, so listen, listen to that, and then listen to the jam, and then join me at the end. I'm sorry if this has been disjointed. This song is disjointed. I'm sorry if this has felt like a bad trip. It's not the song isn't like that, but I just I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm not feeling, not feeling super, you know, with it or you know. Okay. I'm just not feeling feeling 100% back to myself, so I'm just doing my best. We're always just doing our best, so get on out of here. Get on out of here. Go listen to that in the jam. I love it. back here, baby.
right, guys. As always, it's not the best, but it's not the worst. And that's all right with me. And it's got to be all right with you because we're all just trying to figure it out here, right? So thank you for thank you for sticking around and coming back. Thank you guys for all the support because I've been going through a real big life change. Real big. If you want to know more about my life, you can always watch our podcast, a drink and a joint podcast. We live stream it every Saturday when we can, when we're not out of town with our band St. Owsley. You know what I mean? Uh, also, there's a lot of stuff on the channel. Go check it out. Go check out Toby's React videos. They're great. You know, he pauses the video and talks about he does like the Michael Palmasano thing, but with like hip hop and pop and other jam bands and stuff like that. He does a great job with it, but he's a producer, right? So he he takes a little different take with it. And I love him and I love him and I love you guys. Also, go check out our Patreon. We're going to get back to doing that. You know, I had to take a couple months off because of, you know, the thing stuff. OK, uh, don't worry about it. But, you know, I love you and thank you for coming back. And also. Go check out merch at realbird.company.site. Uh, we're, we're back. We're back, baby. And we're, we're running it and we're doing the thing. I'm sorry I look so disheveled. Life's been weird, man. Um, but, uh, but thank you. And also, if you, if you ever just want to buy the Golden Road Guitar Course, 130 bucks to my Venmo or PayPal, I'll send it right over to you. Just give me your email address. Also, uh, if you want to just donate right to the pocket, uh, Venmo, PayPal, you know, everything helps trying to pay rent and, you know, in a new house and feed animals and blah, 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 all the stuff. I love you so much. Always remember that you're the best and I love you. And uh, remember to not be a dick. Just don't be a dick. That's all you got to do. Okay. I love you. Mwah.